The additional fields functionality in Events Calendar Pro allows you to add specific details to your events beyond just the start time, end time, category, etc. that appear up top the event listings above the description itself. Sometimes you have events that have details, say a party with a master of ceremonies and a band, that you don't want to have buried down in the event description. If you do, people might not see it, whereas if you add additional fields up top, it'll be seen quite prominently. I'm going to showcase how this works because it still might not make sense, but just know that if you're trying to make sure something is important and something is seen by your users, you may want to consider adding it as an additional field. This is a pro exclusive feature, so if you're not running Events Calendar Pro, you're not going to be able to do anything that I'm about to showcase in this screencast. But if you do have Proactive, come onto the dashboard of your site and come into Settings, the Events Calendar. When you're in, we're going to go from the General tab over to this Additional Fields tab, which again, if you're not running Pro, you're not going to have this tab at your disposal. But once you're in, we're going to set up the fields right here. Now I'm going to go with the example I started on earlier. I'm having a party, and I want to showcase four different things. The Master of Ceremonies, the Band, the Prizes we're giving away, and the Caterer. We're going to do all those right here, and you'll see there are four different field types, so that'll give us perfect excuse to use all of them. Let's start with the Master of Ceremonies. I'm going to add the field label, what I want that to appear as on the front end right here. And I'm going to select what type of field the user actually creating the event gets to use to input this data. If I leave it as a text field, that means they're going to have just a totally blank field like this where they can type in the Master of Ceremonies name. I'm fine with that. I trust the people putting together events on my site. So I'm going to leave this as is. If I had selected one of the other items from the dropdown, you would see an options field over here, which we'll see in a second. But text won't show anything there. So just leave it as is and then come over to click add another. Here we're going to set up the band. So I'm going to put the field label as band. And rather than use text, I'm going to go with radio. Options, one per line, means I'm going to have three different bands that my users can choose from, one on each line. Now when people are creating events on my site, when they go to select the band, they'll be able to pick via a radio button one of these three options. Since radio buttons don't allow you to select multiple options, they won't be able to select one and two. They'll have to select either one or two. Let's go to the caterer now. I'm going to make this be a drop down because again, this is something where I want users to be able to select one of the options, but they don't need to select multiple. They know that as they create events, one of the three or however many caterers we have available will be catering that event and they'll be responsible with choosing the correct caterer. All set there, and even though I'm only adding three per example here, you can by all means feel free to have more than three. You can see you can expand the box a little bit if you wish, so the more options you have, there's totally flexibility for it. For the sake of efficiency, I'm just using three. So we've got the Master of Ceremonies, we've got the band, and we've got catering. All that's really left to do is the prizes, so let's put that into the field label. And here I'm going to select this as a checkbox. I'll add my different options here, again I'm only going to use three. And the difference between checkbox and these two above is that users creating events, they'll be able to choose any number of these. If they want to go with one and two, they can. If they want to go with one and three, they can. And if they want to go with one, two, and three, they can. The option is theirs. Just know that unlike radio and dropdown, checkbox does give a little more flexibility to the people creating your events. When I'm done and I'm satisfied with my options here, I've used all the different field types, I'm going to hit save changes. And when it saves and I'm taken back to a refreshed page with this little message up top, I know it's time to give this a go. I'm going to go create my event. I'm configuring it just like I would any other event, adding my title, adding my description, setting up when the event itself is actually going to take place, selecting my venue and organizer, and then I scroll down and I actually get to the event custom field. So this is where everything that I just put together is finally coming into play. You'll see Master of Ceremonies. I have a field right here where I can enter the name. I can select the band, one of the options here. I can select the caterer, again, one of the options here. And I can select the prizes we're giving away. Here I have some, some flexibility, so I'm going to say we're giving away the Chevy and the bottle of wine tonight. I can add a cost if I want to, don't have to. And then I can go publish my event. Now if all went according to plan, the custom fields that we configured on the back end will carry over to the front end. Let's take a look. So far, so good. It looks like we're in a great position here. You can see the traditional data, the event name, the date, the cost, etc. all appears. 
but so does the rest of the fields that I just added here. The Master of Ceremonies, the band, the caterer, the prizes, everything's carrying over as I had hoped it to, and it looks like it fits naturally in amongst the rest of this data. That's the Event Custom Fields functionality. Even though I only added four, you can feel free to add as many as you see fit. And again, options, you can add as many as you want per option as well. Just note that as people are coming to your site and are creating events, anybody who creates events is going to have these custom fields at their disposal. So if you are worried about these being used after, say, the catering has expired, you're no longer having catering on your parties, you should probably go into the settings page and take that off because it will be available for anybody creating events to use until you remove it on that page. Removing it's quite easy. Just come into settings, the events calendar again, navigate right back into that tab for additional fields and where you previously saw the add another link just hit remove it'll confirm whether you want to hit the ok box if you do and once that's done make sure to save your changes that's the additional functionality field or excuse me additional fields functionality in a nutshell it's pretty straightforward if you have any questions about it shoot us an email pro at tri.be thanks again folks